as a business consultant whose job is to help my clients hire the right people. I want to help you guys hire the right candidate today. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to go over the various political views unbiasedly from uh, Trump and Kamala. All right. We're going to start with immigration. Trump's views on immigration. So he believes in mass deportation um, of those immigrants who are illegally in the United States. He says that immigrants can be in the United States as long as they are here properly. So he vows that when he's elected, he's going to make sure that everybody who's not here legally is put out and he's willing to do it by force. All right. Kamala, a Camila, or however you say her name, her immigration tactics. Um, she believes in strong border security. I believe that she actually, um, signed a bill to kind of enforce strong border security. Um, she wants to fast track people through the immigration process so that they don't have to sneak in. She has signed and backed a uh, immigration reform plan. Next, abortion rights. Um, Trump is pro-life without exceptions. He was that at first, but I think now he has actually made a few exceptions. Um, but like I said, making adjustments. All right, Kamala, abortion rights. Kamala is pro-choice with exceptions. She says, okay, look, you can um, have an abortion, but we got to have some exceptions to that. You just can't do it all willy-nilly. All right, education. Um, Trump. Trump wants to defund the education department and leave education up to the states. Kamala, education. She wants... She wants to push for a universal pre-K, extended career, and uh, technical education, um, reduced emphasis on standardized test testing, and efforts to improve teachers' working conditions. All right. Um, Israel and Gaza and the Middle East. Um, they both want the Middle East to end the war. Um, and they both have very vague stances. All right. Trump strongly supports Israel and Saudi Arabia. Um, is confrontational towards Iran. Um, Kamala, she said, all will always give Israel the ability to defend itself. All right. Climate change. Um, Trump, he questions climate change. He expresses doubts about humans actually being responsible for climate change. He plans to expand fossil fuel production. All right, Kamala, climate change. She thinks that this is an existential crisis um, and she supports the plans. Uh, she supports the Paris Act and the Inflation Reduction Act. All right, Trump, defense and NATO. Um, he um as per trump he believes in um or he has increased defense spending he has uh created a branch for like space exploring um and he is reassessing the rena relationship with nato he says if, if he gets into office he would reassess the relationship with nato all right um camilla defense in nato she just said she support NATO and she would like to build a stronger relationship. And she kind of like reaffirmed herself or her commitment to them uh, not too long ago. All right. Economy. Um, so Trump believes in tax cuts and deregulatory economic policies. Um, and he said there needs to be massive spending um, cuts. I think. Is there anything else? Yep. Um he wants to lower corporate taxes, uh, the corporate tax rate to 15% for um, firms that make goods in the U.S. Um, and he also believes in eliminating tax on tips. Now, going over to Kamala's point, our thoughts, our views on the economy. She believes in eliminating tax and tips as well. Um She's making infrastructures more green ready, um, or she plans to, um, she plans on expanding or her plan is to, or she would like to expand the middle class. Um, and she would also like to raise taxes for large corporations. So that's just a little 
Cliff Notes, a little neighborhood summary of the candidates and their unbiased beliefs. So that's what Trump, that, those are Trump's plans. Those are Kamala's plans. Take this information and ask yourself, does it align with what you see for your future? Um, there are some more points that I can talk about if y'all would like me to, but I think this is really, these are really some of the um, stakeholding points that people um, make their decisions on. So here's unbiased opinion or unbiased information um, without all of the political rhetoric. So I hope you guys find this useful. I stammer through it. I smoke. What the fuck you thought this was? This is still a uh, politically incorrect production, baby. All right. So happy voting. Oh, also feel free to put any unbiased, unmean information about the candidates below and share this. Send this to everybody because people need, like, people need to know this information and so you don't have to dig through it. It's loud, pot out, watch out now. It's right in your face. It's clear. It's concise. And if you have any questions, you could just ask me. But just put any other political um, ideologies that these two have clearly shared um, in the comments if you would like to. So that interested or uninformed voters um, can have that information and make an informed decision whenever they make the whenever they make the choice to hire one of these two to be the president of the United States. Okay, that's it. Bye.